Hello and welcome to our second video about using Line Designer in Team Center. In the first part of this video, we explain how to import assemblies and parts into Team Center using the demo rail as an example. In the beginning, we open Team Center from the desktop. Log in with your personal account and wait until Team Center starts. Now open an X from Team Center. It is necessary to first open Team Center so they both are connected and you can reach the Team Center library from an X. After an X has started, click on File, then Import Assembly into Team Center. In the new dialog, Select Item Type. In this example, we use Item. Below the section Parts to Import, you can choose among a standalone part or assembly, a log file, or a whole folder you want to integrate into the Team Center library. The next step is to define a default destination folder. Be careful that you have to double click the folder you want to use. Before we name the parts we want to import, we have to click on Validate Team Center information so we know which parts are new and will be imported. Now, if you look at the Team Center information in the table, you can see whether a new item will be created or not. Then we can give the part a name. Make sure to use a uniform naming convention if it's possible and finish it by clicking OK. Team Center will show up a short overview about the concluded import. Now we can close Annex and switch back to Team Center. After that, we select the imported part in Team Center. As you can see, there is no preview image. To create one, we just have to open the selected part in Annex via Team Center. After an X has started again, we align it on the screen as we want to see it in the image. For the last step, before we get our preview image, we have to save the part and close an X. Back in Team Center, you can see our created image. In this part, we show how to create a new line designer layout and add our demo rail. Before we create a new layout, we can check if we have a connection to Team Center by clicking on the Team Center button. As you can see, you have access to the Team Center library. If you want to open a new layout, we go to File, New, then click Item. In the upcoming dialog, we select Line Designer Work Areas and an appropriate template. The template indicates the size of the area. For our example, we use Line and name it. We choose a destination folder and apply. After that, we are back in an empty Line Designer project. If we want to work with our demo rail, we have to choose the part in the Team Center library. Select it and drag and drop it into the empty layout area. The part will be appear at the origin and is aligned in space depending on how it was configured when it was created. With the help of the created PTS author, the rail can be adjusted to various defined sizes. In the third part we explain how to work with Line Designer and Team Center by opening an existing project and extending it via sorting plant. To get a better impression, we build the plant step by step from the Team Center library. To show the workflow, we opened an existing project from Team Center. As you can see, we have already built a digital twin of a production line using parametric monorails with connectors and added some stations and a proper working environment. The size of the plant is not important. 
it is also possible to create much smaller ones. To show how to construct a layout with Line Designer, we will build a sorting plant as an example. For the setup, we placed a modified ground plate on one of the tables. Therefore, we open the Team Center folder structure and select the parts of the sorting plant. The different parts of the sorting plant will be connected to the corresponding connectors one after the other. Note, if you miss a connector, the part will appear randomly in the room. The first part we import is a conveyor. Then we add a magazine and also two ejectors. Every ejector gets a sensor for detecting different material. We also add two laser sensors at both ends of the conveyor. A signal light for process monitoring and a button bar to control the process. We also need a motor so the conveyor can be driven. Finally, we equip the magazine with different kinds of coins. But be careful, do not use a connector more than once or the parts will overlap. Before the parts shown, could be linked to the base plate, they were modified and each provided with appropriate connectors. For a better impression, we added the view and hide the connectors. As you noticed, working with Line Designer is very easy. It doesn't take much time to set up a plant layout, change it or extend the whole plant with the new imported parts. Thank you for watching the second video of our trilogy Line Designer and Team Center Manufacturing. In the last video we will talk about the Team Center workflow process. We will explain what it is, how to use it and how to create a workflow process.